Hello， 大家好，我今日同大家煮潮州冻鱼，又简单又快脆，又可以一早准备好啊 ！Hi friends， today I'm going to cook a popular Chaozhou style steam fish. This popular and common summer dish can be prepared in advance, easy and quick. I am going to use big eyes sea bream. Look. These sea breams are looking fresh. Look at the eyes of the fish; they look very clear, and they are smiling at you. The sea bream fish that I have chosen is around 700. And 80 grams. For this fish, you do not need to remove scales of the fish. Most importantly, is to clear and clean the belly of the fish. Inside the belly of the fish, there is a layer of white membrane. You must break the membrane. Under the membrane, there are lots of blood clots that need to be removed. If you remove all the blood clots, your cooking is half successful already. After washing and rinsing, wipe dry the fish. I will be using blanching method to cook this fish. You can use the usual method of steaming the fish, but ask your fish seller how long is to steam the fish that you bought. The duration of steaming the fish depending. On how big your fish is, add in three tablespoon of salt and a piece of ginger into water. Then use high heat to bring water to boiling. When water comes to boiling, add in sea bream and cook for one minute. After one minute of boiling, then turn off the heat. Let the fish cook with the heat of the hot water for six minutes. Now, after six minutes, let's test the fish with a chopstick. If the chopstick can go through. The thickest part of the body of the fish, then it is cooked. Now remove the fish from the wok and let it cool down. I let my fish to cool down for two hours. For me, blanching the fish is a better cooking as it maintains the juiciness of the fish. And the duration of cooking the fish is really based on my own experience. I did not ask the fish seller. After two hours, let's cut open the fish for serving. Look, the fish is not overcooked. It is perfectly cooked. Add in coriander and scallion on top of the fish. In a hot wok, add in oil. Use medium heat to heat up the oil. Put the hot oil on top of scallion and coriander, so that the fragrance of coriander and scallion can comes out. When you add in oil on top of scallion and coriander, it will create. Sizzling sound. If that means your oil is hot enough to make 
the scallions and coriander to release its fragrance. This is an expensive cold dish in Chaozhou restaurant and why not making it at home? This cold dish is best to go with Chaozhou fermented bean sauce. For a Cantonese people like me, it goes perfectly with soy sauce for seafood or steamed fish. So, you can serve either sauce or both sauces as dipping condiments. Here is the recipe for today's simple cooking. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and turn on notification. Bye bye.